Yo, what's up? I was just coming to make another video regarding the non-emergency medical transportation industry. A lot of the times there's a lot of people asking, how do I get started? What steps I need to take? And, you know, I'm seeing some of the information that's getting put out and it's giving a lot of mixed reviews on like how to start, what to do. And I just want to say, like, kind of be careful with some of the information that's being put out be careful to with some of the stuff that you're listening to because this industry is a very tricky industry and depending on where you located depending on where you got plans on operating the business if you don't come in and do it the right way it could cost you a fifteen hundred dollar fine two thousand dollar fine i'm seeing people do certain things and it's like you know where i'm at um to operate where i am we have to go through certain permits you know you have to get medallions on the vehicle there's people out checking to see if you're in compliance and if you're not they cite you and find you the fifteen hundred dollars which is the metro metropolitan area where i am but then say if i go 30 minutes up that rule does not apply um anymore you know even though it's still the same city same county different counties have different zoning um like you know you know what i mean like different permits you know like here you can't take patients to the airport because then at that point the airport has a different permit and you can get fined for that so i just wanted to come out and just be like you know if you really looking to get into the industry and you really looking to take the steps on what it takes to actually get into this business you know i would say like do a lot a lot of research in the place of where you are you know um that's the best way to go about it because you can mess around and put yourself in debt before you even got started or started getting contracts or started getting yourself in a position to where like things are starting to roll for you you know i feel like if you if it's something that you really want to do it's something that you like ready to take serious it's something that you looking to take those steps you know like do the work that like that's one of the biggest things that i'll tell anybody people ask me all the time like how did you get started what is it that you did you know when i told them like you know i started working with a company then I worked with another company I learned the industry before I even got to this point of being in the industry so I feel like for anybody that's looking to do something or to make that type of step or make those type of changes make sure that you definitely put all your ducats in a row because this industry it comes with a lot it's more than just the transport and it's more than just the contracts it's more than just how many people you could take like per day you know you gotta factor in you know like your city costs for those permits what is it gonna cost you with insurance what is your um because not only are we doing like with the city we're doing metropolitan permits as well what is that going to cost you what is gas going to cost you what is the daily repairs going to cost you you know, it's so much more than just what most people think it is. And I always, like, always suggest people, man, make sure that you get in the industry. Make sure that you're taking this stuff serious. Make sure that if you really want it, study it. Study the industry, you know, because what's going to happen is a lot of people going to get in. A lot of people are going to start purchasing cars, vans, this, that, and the third. And then they're going to realize that all this stuff that they've been listening to is not as cranked up as what we think it is or what we feel that it should be, you know? So I just feel like, you know, anything that you do in life, no matter if it's this business, another business, like research it, you know, take every step that you need and research it. You know, the insurance is another thing, you know, a lot of people wonder like, why is this like insurance rate so high? Um, and I could do another video like on that, but just kind of touching a little bit is just like if you don't have experience in the industry, the reason why the insurance rate is so high is because what happened is 
um, back then before this became like a popular thing or a trend. A lot of people was getting into the industry. They didn't know how to tie down patients the right way. And what was happening was patients were starting to get hurt. So the insurance had to pay out. A lot of car crashes started happening. If it wasn't car crashes, um, personal injuries, you know, you didn't strap a patient up the right way. You hit the brakes. Patient come flying towards the front. They smack their face on the front seat. Like, you know, you think these things don't happen, but they actually do happen in this industry which caused the insurance companies to raise the rates, which caused not only for them just to raise the rate, when you, you'll notice that once you go and you apply for insurance, a lot of the times they'll start asking you for documentation to see um, what other companies you work with. And then they base that off of what they're going to charge you when it comes to the whole getting insurance, you know? so. This industry, like, it's a very, very tricky industry. The industry within itself, it, it's changing. Like, I feel like every some amount of months, like, things are starting to change, you know? So, I just feel like when you getting into this and you really looking, and I'm not saying this to discourage anybody at all, like, I, it's nice to see other companies. It's nice to, okay, this is a new company in the city. That's cool. I always like get their cards and I, if I ever fall in a situation then it's like, all right, you know, I'm definitely going to keep in touch with you because maybe we can work, you know, together. So I'm definitely not saying this to discourage anybody. But what I am saying is getting into this industry, I just feel like the reason why most people cannot really tell you exactly what it is is because where you are, like my permits not be not may not be the same permits that you need to get you know the things that we go through here where i am is probably not what you're going to go through um where you are you know but i will say like anything that you want to do in life no matter what it is you know take the steps i feel like for the people who know and they know what they're doing they know where they want to go with it they know how they're trying to grow like this business, like, you know what, like definitely like take those steps and, and, and get it done. You know, we going on five years, then I worked four years for a company. So I know it's going to be a lot of ups and downs. And I know the industry, like sometimes it feels and seems as if like things is like just impossible. And, you know, so for me to come here and make a video and talk to people and tell people exactly how things are, um, it's just more so like use it as motivation, use it as, you know, if this is something that I want to do. And if you are going to pay for a service or anything within that nature, like find the people who, you know, like you could tell like 100 percent this person is being straight up honest. This person really knows what it is that they doing this person has been through like this and they they know exactly what it is that they're doing but you know and if you getting into this industry you know like definitely have like the right intentions be pure about it you know because <clears throat> it this it takes a long very long time before you even start to see any type of success when you first start you know um it's not one of the industries where you're gonna see it within a year maybe two years um it takes a while and then on top of that you know one false move i didn't see so many companies come in and come out come in and come out you know they thought it was this and then it ended up being this and you know it it changed a lot of people's minds you know it's like well I gotta pay for this permit, pay for that permit, do this, do that, the insurance cost, the this cost, the maintenance on the vans. So just like really do your research, you know, dig in and see, you know, what is it that I'm trying to do? Where am I trying to go with this? The NEMT is a very, very big business and it only works if you work, but you know, it's so many different things that a lot of people are doing in the industry and just like with that being said i'm not gonna hold you or make this video super long i'm not gonna come on here and 
and tell you a bunch of stuff that you want to hear. I know a lot of the times that's what we look for. We look for the people who can come on and tell us exactly what we want to hear and tell you that it's going to be okay and stroke your ego and let you know that, you know, like nothing goes wrong. But in this industry, um, you're going to turn and run into a lot more headaches than what you will get. You know, you're going to celebrate your successes for sure. But just understand that coming into this, um, it's a grind. It's a daily grind. Like on average, you're going to see a lot like hundreds of companies coming out, you know, um, all the time. There's going to be hundreds of companies coming out. So it's always going to be competition after competition after competition. For me, I try not to play that competition game. I try to see what I can do to, you know, like you help me, I help you. You know, but every company ain't going to come out like that. Everybody ain't going to tell you the truth like that. Everybody ain't going to, like, keep it 100% with you and be real with you. A lot of people going to make you feel or think that this is it. And it's like, I'm telling you right now, like, is the industry hard? I'm going to say no, but I'm going to say yeah at the same time, you know. And I'm going to say that, like, your success may not be my success. And then my, my success may not be another person's success. You know, we work with other companies. We try to put them on the same platform and tell, like, the places we got contracts with about this company. And then some of the places we got contracts with, well, a lot of them, they didn't even want to hear it. You know, um, they called us and just like you know it was just like well we're just going to continue to keep using you guys because this is who we're happy with you know but you're gonna see like a lot of people they already have like some of the companies like they set companies that they use and so it's like i don't know like i'm not saying none of this stuff like just to, to discourage nobody i feel like anything is possible anything could be done all I'm saying is like, do your research, like study, 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 you know, and keep studying because like at the end of the day, when you start to take those steps, you will understand a lot more of what I'm saying and, and understand that like, you know, you might have to take a different route. You know, there is people that came in and they, you know, they got it like straight off the back and, you know, they blew up and I seen them get vans and I seen them, but they're no longer here anymore. You know, so I just feel like my advice to anybody step by step is just research, 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 you know, do your own research. And then if you can find a couple of people out there that's like genuine, they want to help you, they want to show you the ropes and they want to teach you and they know exactly what it is that they're talking about, like go for it. You know, other than that, you know, I just want to say like, keep pushing, keep doing what it is that you're doing keep being that dreamer keep believing in yourself even if nobody else wants to believe in you and just keep making things happen you know success is a day-by-day -day, um process you know and celebrate every little bit of success that you can get regardless of whatever the situation may be with that being said god bless and have a great rest of your day all right